From the periodic table, we can work out how many protons and how many neutrons each atom contains. So the 1H atom has one proton. And the 4 helium atom is made up of two protons and two neutrons. So it's four times as heavy as hydrogen. A heavy atom like 238 uranium has got 92 protons and 146 neutrons. It's 238 times the, the mass of hydrogen. So the relationship between the masses of the elements is really important. When we're looking at molecules, we need to work out the relative mass of the molecule. This is just the sum of the atomic masses of the atoms. So for fluorine, I look up fluorine on the periodic table. A fluorine atom has a relative mass of 19. So two fluorine atoms has a mass of 2 times 19, 38 grams per mole. Grams per mole. CO2, look up carbon on the periodic table. I've got one of those in the formula, 12.01. But I've got two oxygens. Oxygen is 16 on the periodic table, mass of 16, 2 times 16, and I've got an overall 44.02 grams per mole, moles to the minus 1 per mole. Ethanol, I've got two carbons, five hydrogens, an oxygen, and another hydrogen. Two carbons, five hydrogens, an oxygen, and another hydrogen. Add all that together, 46.08 grams per mole, grams moles to the minus one. If I have an ionic solid, I don't have molecules and I just use the formula to work out the, the molar mass. So magnesium chloride, MgCl2, look at magnesium, 24.31, two chlorines, two times 35.45, and I've got a total mass of 95.21 grams per mole. So now we can relate the number of grams of a substance we weigh out to the number of moles and to the number of particles of that substance that we have. So the number of moles is the mass we have divided by the molar mass that we've just worked out. Or the number of moles is the number of items that we have divided by Avogadro's number, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Let's do a couple of examples. So how many atoms are there in a gram of silver? So we want to know, first of all, how many moles there are. The moles is the mass divided by the molar mass. I've got one gram. Silver is just an atom, so I look up its relative mass on the periodic table, 107.9, and I work out that I've got 0 0.0093 moles. Notice this is the symbol for the unit mole, MOL, space between the measurement and that unit. Now, if I want to work out the number of atoms, I work out how many moles I've got multiplied by Avogadro's number. So I've just worked out that I've got 0 0.0093 moles 
Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So I've got this huge number of atoms, 5.6 times 10 to the 21 atoms of silver. Do a second one. Calculate the number of moles of water in 1,000 grams. The molar mass of water is 18.02. So the number of moles is the mass divided by the molar mass. Clearly, I've got a molar mass of 18 and I've got many more grams of water. So I've got many more than one mole. The mass is 1,000. The molar mass is 18.02. Work that out, 55.49 moles. How many water molecules would this represent? So the number of molecules, the number of particles, is the number of moles times Avogadro's number. Just worked out 55.49 moles. Multiply by Avogadro's number, I work out that I've got 3.342 times 10 to the 25 molecules, a huge number of molecules. If you're not clear about the number of significant figures I've been using here, review the significant figures video and tutorial.